Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we have the highly anticipated final production version of the Leatherman Signal, so stick with me. The Leatherman Signal, like a lot of other Leatherman tools, is purpose-built. So it's built for the outdoorsman or for those that practice survival because it's got the knife sharpener, the whistle, and the ferrocerium rod. So it's perfect for people like me that commonly carry a ferrocerium rod when I go outdoors and into the woods. It's great to have this with me as a backup for not only maintaining my tools, but also being able to start that fire or signal for rescue in the event that I had to do so. I think it's got a great mix of tools in it, and it's the tools that I most commonly use anyway on other multi-tools, so it works great for me, and I'm enjoying it so far. There were a few issues with the model that I saw at SHOT Show, so I'm glad they were able to kind of tweak the final production version, and it doesn't seem that they're gonna be an issue anymore. So let's take a walk around the Leatherman Signal here. Up top, you have a nice sturdy pommel, great for pounding things in or crushing things such as nuts. You've got this cap lifter here, which is always handy to have, and then a quarter inch bit driver that will accept quarter inch bits, and you can use the tool that way. You have two tools that open from the outside. You have the combo edge blade that locks into place, straight edge on the tip, and then serrated on the bottom. Great for opening packages and for cutting things like rope. You do have to press in the frame here, the frame lock, to release the tool, which is nice that it locks into place. And then on the other side, you have the saw which is pretty common to a lot of Leatherman tools. Obviously the signal's claim to fame is the fact that it can be used as a survival tool. So you have a nice knife sharpener on one side and then you have a ferrocerium rod on the other side, both detachable. It has a nice pocket clip, which makes it perfect for EDC, something that I add on to the wave or the surge anyway. So it's nice that it comes with that. The tool opens and closes very easily, and there's actually a little lock that they've put on here. Just by sliding this down, it locks the tool from being opened in your pocket, which I find is a pretty nice feature. You can disable the lock just by pressing it up, and then you can easily open the tool. The signal has replaceable 154 CM cutting blades, and then it has a nice pair of pliers and a nice solid set of needle nose. On the inside of one handle is the signal and ferro rod. To release it, you just press this spring back and the tool will pop right out. You have a signal whistle up top and then you have your ferrocerium rod on the bottom. On the other side of the handle, you have a few different tools. Again, I like the tool set that they chose to put in here. You have an awl, you have a cap lifter slash can opener, and then you have their bit driver, which will accept all the different bits from their bit kit. Now the two pieces that come off of the signal are the ferro rod slash whistle and the knife sharpener. I did ask Leatherman and these will be available for order should you lose them. On the ferro rod, they've beefed up the edges here to hold in the ferro rod a little bit firmer, as well as raise the edges on both ends. This was sort of flat on the one at SHOT Show, and I could see the ferro rod easily popping out, and I don't think that's the case anymore. I really don't think it's gonna pop out of there. Now, it might wear out pretty quick on you, so you would wanna use this just as a backup. On the model that I saw at SHOT Show, the knife sharpener was able to just pull right out. It was very loose, and I don't think it was just from wear and tear. I think they've modified this a little bit, so now that you absolutely can't get that sharpener out unless you depress this button first, and then you can release the sharpener. I think it's really cool that they added the whistle into the ferro rod, making it multi-purpose, and it is quite a loud whistle as well. Pommel works great for crushing nuts and pounding in tent stakes. So just a very quick search of my area here and I've got some good bit of tinder. I've got some uh, dried grass, some cedar bark, some dead pine needles, I got some pine resin and then I got just some little twigs and we're just gonna see if we can get just a little fire going here with the Leatherman signal. 
So I'm just gonna build a little bird nest here to throw my sparks into. I'm gonna put these pine needles kinda on the top of that. I'm gonna put these twigs on the back of that. And hopefully process some of this cedar bark. Now the cedar bark is a little damp but just running it through my fingers and spreading it out getting that surface area processed should help it take a spark and should dry it out a little bit. Alright so we're gonna pop the ferro rod out of the signal here then I'm gonna use the saw back to strike it. So we're gonna go ahead and light the cedar bark up here. We can kinda of just roll this over on itself. So again, the signal is purpose built for outdoorsmen or survivalists, and I think they did a great job of taking certain tools from other Leatherman tools, such as this pommel up top, which is also found on the mutt, and the cap lifter slash carabiner clip here, which is also found on the skeletal, tool, and is really handy for just clipping onto a pack. The saw and the blade are pretty common throughout most Leatherman tools, but I like the size and I like the fact that they're on the outside for easy access. I like that they chose to go with the heavy duty pliers that are found on the rebar and on the surge and a little bit of an upgrade with those 154 CM cutting blades that you won't find on the wave. The tools on the inside are very handy as well, the bit driver, the can opener, and the awl, which can also be found on the surge and the wave. So what are you missing on the signal compared to the wave, for example? Well, not much. Again, you have the nicer set of pliers with the nicer set of wire cutters. You have the combo blade, which on the wave, you have a standard straight blade and a standard serrated blade, which I never use. So the combo blade works great for me. You have the same exact saw that the wave has. So that's not a big deal. On the wave, there is a file but again, you get the knife sharpener with the signal, so that's not a really big deal. I don't really often use the file a whole lot. And then you have the tools that are on the inside. You have a flat blade screwdriver, which again, I really don't use a whole lot because I use the bit driver, and the signal has that built in as well, as well as the cap lifter, so those two tools are exactly the same. You do have a really tiny set of screwdriver here for things like glasses, and I know some people use that, but for me, I don't wear glasses, so it's not a big deal for me. So I guess the only other thing that people would be concerned with the signal not having is a good pair of scissors. However, it doesn't really make much difference to me because on my keys, I usually carry the Leatherman Micra, which has a fantastic set of spring-loaded scissors. Now comparing it to the Surge, the Surge does have the same pair of pliers with the replaceable cutting blades for the wire cutters. The Surge also has a large uh, pair of scissors, which is nice if you use scissors a lot. Other than that, it's pretty similar to the Wave, and I'm happy with the tool set that comes with the Signal. The knife sharpener that comes with it, although small, definitely will help you keep your edge sharp in a pinch. You can easily sharpen the flat section of the blade just by running it over the stone. And then it's got sort of this V shape to it that you can easily keep your serration sharp as well. So I actually kind of like that. All in all, I think it's pretty well thought out and I like the tools that they selected for it. And I do think it's a lot more durable than the model that I saw at SHOT Show. 
So as you can see, the Leatherman Signal is a great tool. It's great for a guy like me that's always in the outdoors, and it's nice to have that backup way to sharpen my blades or start a fire if I had to. I'll probably still carry a regular size ferrocerium rod and a lighter in my pocket, which are generally my go-to. But again, it's nice to have that as a backup. It's also nice to have that signal whistle. You never know when you're gonna get stuck. Hunting, for example, maybe you fall out of a tree stand and you have to signal for help, and it's got a nice loud whistle to be able to do so. I like the combination of tools that they selected for it. That serrated slash straight blade works great for opening packages, cutting rope, and things that I commonly do with my uh, Leatherman that I EDC, which has been the wave. It's got the can opener, which is great. It's got the clip taken from the mutt or the Skeletool, which you can just clip it on to a pack. And of course, it's got that nice saw for being able to saw things and also striking the ferro rod. So I think all in all, it's a great tool if you're into the outdoors or survival, and I definitely think you should check it out. I'm gonna leave some links below to Leatherman's website and also a link below to where you can check out more information and the latest prices on the Leatherman Signal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below and make sure you share this video to your friends who might be interested on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. If you wanna follow me on my social media, all the links are below in the description. You can just click them and give me a follow or a like and see what I'm up to. And as always guys, click that red subscribe button for more videos.